Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be doing another project here on the Dell Latitude D610. Specifically we're going to be installing a version of Ubuntu Linux. But what's really cool about this is we're going to be using a recovery disk. That's right, a Ubuntu 8.04 LTS recovery disk. This is a copy of Ubuntu that I've never actually seen before. It was recently sent to me by David in this video. It'll be up in the cards if you want to go check it out. Huge thanks to you, David, once again for uh, giving this along with all that other software to me. So what this was, was a copy of Ubuntu that would have been pre-installed on a computer. And this was the recovery disk you would use to restore that machine back to factory settings if you ever needed to. And yes, there were computers out there and there still are computers that come pre-installed with a distro of Linux as opposed to Windows. I'm pretty sure this disk right here originally came with a Dell computer, judging by what we have on the back here. You see it says Dell P slash M and some lot code or model number there. Made in China and revision A01 is the uh, revision of this disk and that's also specified on the bottom right here. Uh, if I kind of move it a little bit in, in the packaging, you can see revision A01 January 2009. Now when I first got this, I thought that David had just put the disc into a random CD sleeve that he had, but this is actually sealed, and you can see that here that this is like, and I mentioned this in the unboxing video, I can tell that this is factory sealed because I can try to like take this up and it's going to tear through the label here. So we're going to be opening this for the very first time in this video since it was uh, shipped with whatever computer that it was shipped with. It might not have been a Dell computer, who knows. But uh, that's my guess judging from what it says here. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and tear this and uh, open this thing up. All right, so here is the disc uh, being taken out of its sleeve for the very first time. Check that out. So I noticed this too, if you see it says Ubuntu 8.04 Plus. So there could be multiple versions, I would guess 8.04 and 8.10, uh, judging by you know January 2009 is the date that this specific disc was manufactured. So there could be multiple versions on here. We're gonna find that out obviously in this video. 8.04 came out in April of 2008. That's how Ubuntu uh, names their releases. So 8 stands for 2008, 04 is the fourth month, April. So that's when it was released. And uh, that is how Ubuntu uh, names every single one of their releases going all the way back to the first version in 2004. Now, this machine that we're going to be installing it on predates uh, Ubuntu 8.04 by a couple of years, uh, actually more than a couple of years. Uh, so, but it, it does meet the system requirements. Uh, 8.04 only needs 256 megabytes of RAM at a minimum, and uh, we have two gigs in this machine. I wasn't able to find processor specifications, but uh, this is a Pentium M, so we're just going to try it, and uh, I think it's going to work. So we're going to go ahead and pop the disk into the computer's DVD drive. So I'm going to put this in here. And we are currently running Windows XP, as you can probably tell. Uh, this is the uh, installation that I used to take a look at that Radio Shack uh, merchandising CD a couple of videos ago. And uh, yeah, that'll be up in the cards if you want to go check it out. So we're restarting here and we're going to hit uh, F12 to boot into the one-time boot menu. And uh, we're going to boot from the CD slash DVD drive. Now the main purpose behind this video, if you weren't already able to tell, is to see how this uh, install process or recovery process differs from, oh, check that out, Dell System Restore CD. So that, yeah, confirms it right there if you weren't able to tell from the case that, uh, yes, this is, this would have come with a Dell, I guess a Dell Mini. Oh, I actually have one of those, a Dell Mini laptop. It runs Windows 7 though. I think it came with Vista though, originally. So we'll press enter, type proceed to restore to factory defaults. Okay. So yeah, this computer that we're using here is obviously not a Dell Mini, but we'll see if it still works on it. I would think it would work perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, the main purpose behind this video is to see how this process differs from your standard Ubuntu install process that you would get by downloading an ISO image from the website or by getting one of the free physical copies through the Ship It program because that did exist at this time. It differs a lot so far. We obviously got that first screen, that initial screen where you had to type proceed. And now it is, uh, it's formatting the hard disk for us. It's deleting the partition table, creating a new partition table and formatting, uh, oh no, 
it would obviously have to create the partition table before it formats. But uh, yeah, so this seems to be pretty automated so far, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, because normally you would have to specify all these options yourself during the setup process, you'd have to say uh, what partitions that you want to create. If you want to create a new partition or just use an existing partition, format it, uh, the size of everything. But this is taking care of it all for you and it's not really prompting us with anything. We just had to type in proceed as I would think is kind of like a safeguard to like make sure 100% that you want to do this, which makes sense. So right now it is uh, copying system files onto hard disk drive, copying system roots onto hard disk drive, and it's almost done, at least with this process right here. You can see we're probably about 75% going by the progress bar there. Wow, check this out. Dell End User Software License Agreement. Before using your computer, please read the End User Software License Agreement. To comply with the terms and conditions of the Dell EULA, you must consider any CD or diskette set of Dell installed software as backup copies of the software installed on your computer's hard disk drive. If you don't accept, please call customer assistance. So we're going to press any key. To confirm that we have accepted yeah i wonder if this is going to be like a dell branded like if there's going to be dell branding anywhere across the operating system uh we have the standard ubuntu start screen but yeah this is i've never seen a copy of linux you know like a restore copy so okay now we get to the system configuration screen so you would have answered these questions during the install process uh, but now that it's already been installed, it just brings you to this. So we're going to select English. We're in the US. It'll probably ask us for the time zone, New York. That's great. Keyboard layout, USA. Uh, what is your name? Michael. And we have to put a password. We'll just do Michael as the password. Okay, so this is a plugin, GStreamer plugin license agreement. So, okay, this is the last step. We'll accept it except that license agreement. This is a pretty nice background, isn't it? I really like it. I don't think this was the default wallpaper for 8.04. Uh, but yeah, so there is not a second version on here. I don't really know what 8.04 plus LTS means. So it opens up the Ubuntu Help Center. So if you were new to Ubuntu, you could get... Uh, Man, the mouse acceleration is super slow. Okay, oh, whoa, what is this? Okay, first thing I'm gonna have to do is change the mouse. I mean, this is like, I'm I'm literally having to, I'm moving my finger across the trackpad. For, like, I'm moving it from one corner to another corner, and that's how, <laughs> that's how little the mouse moves. So, oh, I just hit on this by accident. But okay, so there's this interface that is normally not a thing in Ubuntu. So we're gonna have to explore this a little bit. Let's go to, let's see if there's anything, if we go to um, about Ubuntu, I wanna see if there's anything different in here, like any Dell branding or anything. Now it just says Ubuntu Linux for human beings. Uh, thank you for interest in 8.04, released in April 2008. Let's do a search for Dell. See if there's anything in here. No results. Okay, so the help documentation doesn't have any reference to Dell whatsoever. Okay, so this here, let's just, I mean, this looks like an app launcher. Yeah, so you click on, oh, music and gaming. Okay, so there is some Dell branded stuff. You've got Last FM. I assume just a shortcut to the to the website, I would think. Yeah, just a shortcut to Last FM. So let's see what music and gaming is. Let's see what this is. DellLounge.com. Oh, let me plug in the uh, Ethernet cable here. You know, I don't think it has detected the internal network card, which is unfortunate. But yeah, DellLounge.com. I've never heard of that. But we can still take a look at like like under games here. Okay, so we got. Um, what is Potato Guy? Is this a... What is this? Oh, this is a KDE game. Okay. And yeah, so you've got a scroll bar here, so you got a ton of games. Web, you obviously have Firefox, you've got... Man, they've got shortcuts like to eBay, Yahoo, Yahoo News, Yahoo Maps, Dell Support. That just opens up support.dell.com. You've got uh, some kind of edutainment programs here. Japanese Study Tool, Tux Math, Words. Alphabet and you got a plus button right here. You can click on this to add a new category So I don't know if this launcher application is a Dell specific program, but it certainly does not come pre-installed with Ubuntu 8.04. Let's go into like let's add add slash remove. Let's see if there's oh see I just opened this by accident. Okay, so let's do a search in here for Dell 
Okay, so so this is not a Dell application. At least that's that's my guess. And yeah, here's the file browser. This is uh, Nautilus 2.22.3 for GNOME. Uh, obviously, we are uh, running the GNOME environment here. We can go to switch desktop mode, so you can change between. Okay, so. Maybe it is. Okay, the Dell launcher. So I guess it is a Dell developed program. It's just not gonna show up in the add slash remove list. So, okay. So we could click on classic desktop and apply. Yeah, this looks a lot, because I was gonna say, like usually the applications running are down here at the bottom. And usually the that home icon is not next to the Ubuntu logo. And usually you have applications, places, and system. So yeah, that entire interface was uh, completely changed. Now this Dell contract folder, I, I noticed this earlier. And this is interesting because at first I wasn't going to show this because I thought that these folders here pertained to, or these files like were actual company contracts. But these are just like a hodgepodge of different documents. At first I thought, oh, this is like a business thing because there was this business like complete care PDF which has this guide like complete care for business customer services agreements. But then if you go over here, uh, this right here, complete care consumer, then you've got, uh, this is Dell Home Service, I think. No, Dell Hardware Services Agreement. But yeah, so this is interesting to have these, these contracts on here. Because when I saw the business thing, I was like, well, it'd be really weird to have that like huge, like gigantic desktop bar on a business machine. But this is not a business. I mean, this was not made for a business machine as far as I can tell. But yeah, guys, there you have it. This is really, really cool and super unique. Like I said, I've never seen a copy of Ubuntu on a recovery disk before. Uh, I've never owned a machine that came pre-installed with Ubuntu, but uh, they are out there. And this is proof of it if you didn't know. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.